That went well, did it not? It is always useful to bolster the troops' morale, especially before a difficult battle. You have the makings of a general, my lord. I was, though very long ago. Well, not quite a general, but a proud defender of the crown. So why did you really want to meet me? Straight to the point again, young Ekon. All right, let's talk, you and I, Lance Sparer. I'm listening. According to my spies, you have worked with Dr. Edgar Swansea on the epidemic, and your findings were quite alarming. Do you know Edgar Swansea? Not personally, but I've been told he has some sort of immortal fetish and is a good friend of yours. Does it bother you that I consider him my good friend? As long as you reveal nothing of the club's inner workings, why should I forbid you engaging in conversation with the good Dr. Swansea? You are spying on me. Not personally. I rarely leave this building. But once he found you, Fergal kept me informed. Until you put an end to his mission. Who was Fergal? I don't see him sipping tea with the others in the club. Fergal Bansher was my squire of sorts. Even before becoming that magnificent beast, he was a brute. He served me well for decades. No, I mean, what was he? He was clearly no ordinary vampire. No, he was a Volkod, all muscles and instinct. Quite the rare breed, ferociously territorial. Mortals often mistake them for werewolves. You do know I killed him. Yes. Will you bear ill will towards me for his death? Of course not. Your victory was quite impressive and courageous. You earned my respect. Yes, I'm convinced the recent invasion of frenzied scowls in London is directly linked to the epidemic. This is not the Spanish flu, but something else. I would be glad to hear more of your discoveries, Dr. Reed. But for now, my main concern is the security of London's inhabitants, both mortal and immortal. What do you mean? Alarmed by the epidemic, the guard of Prewen has started a war against us British vampires. To appease the situation, we must eradicate the Skulls. Skulls are hostile vectors of contagion, that is a fact. But first and foremost, they are victims. I agree, Dr. Reed. Most of the new Skulls who roam the streets at night used to be good British citizens. But they must be put down nevertheless. So, what do you want me to do? I want you to investigate the city thoroughly. I have reason to fear there are cases of contagion in this part of town. Our absolute priority is to find and cleanse them. And how would you like me to proceed? By all means necessary, Dr. Reed. You are now a member of the Ascalon Club and you have carte blanche. Interrogate the locals, follow all the leads you find, and get results. Some horned vampire revealing himself and singing obscure songs around the city. 